I finished the H bridge driver. Um, one of the things I quite like about this design is uh, this row of chips here are isolated 15 to 15 volt DC converters. So it means that all four of these channels are completely isolated. These are opto isolated LED drivers, they're capable of 2 amp current. And uh, basically, in here, there is a small capacitor, it's actually mounted on the underside and the push-pull signal charges and discharges the capacitor giving a built-in dead time so that automatically isolates and has dead time so I can mold an H-bridge out of four basically identical in-channel devices don't have to worry about high side drivers or anything like that and uh, just for the fun of it I made a thing here if you can see it very well it's copper wire suspended between the nails and uh, I have a quite a large magnet here which fits over the top and because when you put current through a wire it's in the presence of a magnetic field it will move if you put an alternating current through it or in my case it's going to be a square wave it will vibrate so I should be able to get some noise this will be a somewhat heavy metal speaker This is the output from the isolated gate drivers. Uh, I used a 2.2 picofarad capacitors, gave me about 500 nanoseconds of dead time in between the, the gate drive signals there. And uh, since so at the intended frequency of around 70 kilohertz, which is where the induction heater should be running, which is where I'm going to be ended up using this. It's got the signal generator set to do a push-pull square wave, which will drive a higher signal from my H bridge. That's about 4 kilohertz. There's a bit of harmonic resonance going on there. That's 1 kilohertz. Ooh. Getting a good vibrate on there. Hear the fan on my power supply coming on too, there's not a lot of impedance. 400 hertz. But yeah, 